We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star offensive lineman Casey Poe, signed with the Alabama Crimson Tide. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all this, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every day this offseason, player by player. And you need to know what some of your players look like on the field before they start making plays for your team. Here's the 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, Fast forward a few minutes, you will get here. But he's a four-star prospect in both the rankings and in the composite. Second in the interior offensive line in the composite. Sixth in the rankings. So he's a top 10 guy. That's easy to say here just by looking at the rankings. Four-star prospect. Enrolled with Alabama. 6'4.5", 290. These are older. Usually they are. So that means he's probably a little bit bigger by now. 23 offers. That's a good amount of offers for an interior offensive lineman. That's pretty good. And you look to the left, Oklahoma, Georgia, Clemson, Auburn, Alabama. That lets me know college football was more hot for him than the recruiting sites. They might have had him ranked higher than 157 overall. That being said, we're going to look at the highlights, see how good he is. Stay tuned for that. But looking at the scouting report, big body with requisite length to play across the offensive line, quick get off to the point of attack strength, strong lower half and active feet, foster consistent drive blocking power, locks on and doesn't relent, looks to finish block. So a guy gets out of the stance really fast. He's very explosive. He's strong. He's going to finish opponents, finish those defenders. Functional athleticism. So we got speed on the edge as well. I think we're going to see some good highlights here. I think things are going to be fun with this one. Oklahoma was in on this. Top tier power five schools. Still 23 offers, but top tier power five schools. College football saying, hey, this is a good prospect. We want him on our team. That's what they're saying. He's more of a top end four star. It looks like from the amount of offers and the teams that are looking at him. And then when you look at the rankings here, number one on ESPN, number two on on three, six, 24, seven, four rivals. He's a top tier guy at his position. Four-star prospect, 296, four and a half is what they got him listed at. That being said, let's take a look at the highlights really quick here. We have three minutes and 45 seconds of highlights. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them, but we're going to let this roll. Let's see what's under the hood here with Poe. There he is. We see thickness. He's moving quite well for his size. That guy just flied out of the way. That was almost like a cartoon. Pulling. Oh, he killed him. He's he looks bigger than what he's listed at. He's he's got some power at contact. He launching people. And I say this every time looking at these highlights for the offensive lineman. You shouldn't be able to get a clear cut evaluation for the next level. It should be them just dominating. It should be them road grading. The opponents at the high school level. Like, he should kill 20 right here. Nope, nope. Not, well, now he does. There he goes. Like I said, that is what's supposed to happen. If that doesn't happen, he does not belong at a Power 5 program. Let alone Alabama. He's doing what he should be doing to those guys. Finishing them and really embarrassing them. Watch him here. He's going to smash somebody. There he goes to the ground. Finishes him. That's what it should look like. That's what it should look Look at the size of him versus the other offensive lineman. That guard on the inside. It's not like that guard's like a small average dude. But he's small compared to him. And he's moving well for his size. Getting to there. Getting to the edge. We got some power at the point of the attack. Yeah, he's back there. Finished his run. Very solid. Very solid. I'm seeing a lot of power. He's built well. He's built well to play on the interior. Finishing his plays, mauling people. Look at that guy. There's another body there. 56 having a rough night. If you go up against a guy like that, you're having a rough night. Look at... Ooh. Do you see him get under those pads with that power? Here's the next one. Getting under 30, getting under 15. Just moving them out of the play. Moving them out of the play. Here's the next one. Pass pro, we're getting back there pretty quick too. I say functional athleticism, we're looking good. 
We're looking good. We got some pop in the step. We're on the outside. He's, if he goes up against... Yeah, he's going to kill him. All day. All day. They might as well not put anybody over to that side or put him out wide because that's just going to happen every time. And I get it. You kind of want to functionality-wise. It makes sense so they don't just keep running over there, but same difference. Might as well have your bodies away from him. You got little guys like that. Here we go. That's a bigger guy on the edge. Let's see if they go one. No, nope. he's coming down on the block though. Crashing down, laying on him too. To doesn't let him up. Oh, he should win this one pretty easy. This is what the tape should look like with these offensive linemen who are top tier guys. Rides them, rides them out of play. Gets into a stance quick. Gets gets back there. He's got a good pop with the feet. The pass pro. Gets to the second level. Throws him. This is what it should look like. Gets out there quick. Rides him. There we go. Here's our next one. Gets under the pads. Turns him. Finishes him. That's it. That's it. That is what we want from our offensive linemen when we're watching this tape. We want road graders. We want maulers. That's what this guy is. He finishes his plays. He finishes the linemen in front of him. He eats them for breakfast. And he's strong. He's quick out of the stance. Pass pro. He's got a fast kickback. He's got quick hands. He gets his hands on you. You're done. He'll turn you. He knows how to ride the, the block back there. Overall, good offensive lineman. Strong, steadfast. That's what you want to see on tape. Everything else you're going to see at the next level or in top tier 1v1s because you got to go up against better competition. But he did what he needed to do on this tape, and that's maul everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.